Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be breaking down and discussing what hybrid training is. Now, I get a lot of questions about this on Instagram and just people like me kind of when they when they see the sort of training I do, um, it's bodybuilding and running, um, and I refer to hybrid training in my Instagram captions and things like that. Some a lot of people don't understand what it is, so I thought I'd just break it down, but essentially what hybrid training is in essence is all it means is that you're combining some sort of resistance training with some sort of endurance training. Now, obviously that's a very broad term and I think that's why a lot of people struggle to understand what it actually is. But you could have someone that just goes to the gym three times a week and goes on the cycles twice a week and that would technically be hybrid training. You can have people that are a lot more focused on their physique, maybe doing five training sessions a week and someone that's doing one run a week. Or you could have someone that is just you know, running for performance, trying to prep for a half marathon or something like that and then doing two strength sessions in the gym to maintain their performance. So technically, all of those would come into hybrid training but there's a lot more that goes into it than that. But at, at its kind of core, it's resistance training and endurance training and combining the two. And personally, I love it. I think it's the best way to train. I bodybuilded for 10 years before I even got into running. I just found myself getting quite bored of just that bodybuilding training. Um, I used to play a lot of sport when I was younger. So I think even if I didn't realize it, I was missing that kind of cardiovascular element to fitness. And I think the older you get and the longer you train, the more you realize that you know your actual health and your your cardiovascular fitness is, is just as important as as the size of your muscles and the way you look so i think that's why i've kind of transitioned over into hyper training over the last four years um started running in lockdown just like everyone did and i've just kept it up alongside my strength training the whole time and now i'm i would say i'm a proper like kind of hybrid athlete prepping for a marathon's gonna do sorry a half marathon can do a marathon later on in the year but i'm still heavily focused on strength training and bodybuilding in the gym four times a week um, so the hybrid spectrum is something I've kind of like, I've never heard anyone say this before, it's kind of something I've coined myself. Um, but this is something that I talk to people about and try and encourage them to decide kind of where they sit on the hybrid training spectrum. And this usually comes up on consultation calls when people are interested in coming on board our coaching program, Athletic Aesthetics. So you need to decide what your goal is and where you sit on the spectrum. So at one end of the spectrum, you might have someone who is physique focus they might want to put on a lot of muscle and at the other end that you might have someone that really just wants to run a fast half marathon time let's say now a lot of the clients that we work with they're generally somewhere in the middle so they want to improve the way they look with their physique and they also want to improve their performance both in the gym and and running or cycling whatever the form of endurance training is so you've got to decide where you sit on the spectrum and that's obviously going to dictate what your training program will look like so if I use the example of myself, I'm still in the gym four days a week, maintaining my muscle mass, building strength, but I'm also running three or four times a week, prepping for races and things like that. So I'd say I'm right in the middle of the spectrum. We've got people on the program that don't even do any running, that just do strength training. And then we've got some people that are purely just focused on their running right now. And then they're just doing two or three strength sessions in the week, short sessions to maintain their physique and, and more from an injury prevention standpoint. So. That's really important to decide where you want to get to, what you want to focus on, and that's what will dictate what your training program will look like alongside time availability, i.e. How much, how much time you have in the week to train, which we'll get on to in more detail in the next couple of slides. So I thought the best way to kind of break down what a training program might look like for a hybrid athlete by using three different examples. Now, we have a lot of people on the program who fall into each of these categories here. So... Example one, someone who wants to, to build lean muscle mass and maintain their aerobic fitness. So for their strength training, they might be doing four or five strength sessions a week. You know, it could be two lower body sessions, two upper body sessions, maybe three upper body sessions. Again, depending on how much, how much time they have. So the main focus of their training program is going to be strength progression and progressive overload. It's going to be a lot of volume, a lot of isolation work, and they're going to be training close to failure just because... They've probably got the fitness levels to do that. They've got the time and the energy that they can allocate to that because they're not doing any or they're doing very little endurance work. They might just be doing one or two low intensity cardio sessions a week. It could be a zone two bike. It could be an easy run, whatever it is. Again, like the amount of training that they do is going to be schedule dependent. So for example, we were working with someone who was doing a fat loss phase over summer. He was doing five strength sessions a week. He was doing three cardio sessions. He had a lot of time. Um, whereas someone who's more kind of time deprived and they just want to build muscle they might just do four strength sessions a week so that's example one example two if we go back to the spectrum more in the middle so someone who wants to gain muscle or maintain their muscle and improve their performance so this this is where i sit on the spectrum so 
three to five strength sessions a week, they're still focused on progressively overloading and there's still gonna be a decent amount of volume in their program because they probably got the fitness levels and the amount of energy available through their nutrition to, to do this and, and to recover from that. And alongside that, they're probably gonna be doing three or four runs a week. If they were If they were prepping for a race, like I mentioned below, the amount of training that they're doing in terms of running endurance might be slightly higher. Um, and if they were on a race prep, they'd be doing more speed work, but that's kind of getting into the nitty gritty of the endurance stuff. So their training program is going to be pretty evenly split between strength training and endurance training. Again, schedule dependent. It might just be three strength sessions and two runs, whatever it is. Example three, more towards the performance end of the spectrum for some, maybe someone who's actually prepping for a race, a half marathon, a marathon. So they're probably just going to be doing two to four, probably, probably three strength sessions a week. Um, they're going to be less focused on progressing in the gym and more just maintaining their strength from an injury prevention standpoint. Now, obviously, there's massive carryover from strength training in the gym into your endurance. So, for example, maintaining lower body strength is going to help you perform well when you're prepping for a race. So that might be why someone's doing the strength training two or three times a week, less volume, less isolation work, because they want to be saving their energy and their performance for the race prep. So they're probably going to be doing three to four runs or endurance sessions a week whatever they're training for, whatever the discipline is. And if we use the example of a half marathon, if they were doing three runs a week, they're probably gonna be doing a low intensity, easy zone two aerobic run at the start of the week. They're probably gonna be doing a tempo run or some speed work midweek, and then building up a long run on the weekend. So they're, they're putting a lot of time into their endurance, which is why the, the amount of strength training they're doing will be less. Um, but yeah, and then again, heavily schedule dependent, and this wouldn't be year round, it's not optimal to be in a race prep year round. So once you, you complete, you know, if it's a half marathon, maybe a 12 week race prep there, back into a block of zone two, and then maybe you enter another race. So those are three different examples, and we've got examples of clients in all those different phases at the moment. Um, considerations with hybrid training are really important. Like it's not just something that you can kind of jump into, it's not just like going to the gym three times a week. Um, you need, I mean, you do need, you need a decent amount of time available to do this. You could just be doing two gym sessions and two runs four times a week, the same as someone who's just looking to build muscle. Maybe they were doing four strength sessions in the gym. Um, but generally, like, that's going to be a big consideration is, like, how many days a week can you train? When are you actually going to get these training sessions done? Um, this is something that comes up a lot when we bring a client on board. Is like I say to them, like, how, how much can you actually train? Like, can you keep up this volume of training when work is busy? Um, so that's something you need to decide and that will dictate you know, how long the runs are, where you place them in the week as well. So for people who like to go out on the weekend and they like to just switch off and relax on the weekend, they're probably going to want to do most of their training volume through the week, Monday to Friday. And that might mean doubling up one day and doing a run in the morning on the Monday and then a strength session in the evening. We've got a few clients doing that. Your current fitness level is obviously going to dictate how much volume you can handle and how you can recover in between training sessions as well. So if I tried to do the amount of training I'm doing at the moment, four strength sessions and four runs, three years ago, I wouldn't have had a chance. I would have got injured and I wouldn't have been able to recover between sessions and I would not have been able to progress in one or both of the disciplines. So you need to take that into account. For someone who's less fit, you're probably better off starting with slightly more strength work and then sort of some low intensity cardio. And then as you get fitter, you can start to ramp up the intensity of the cardio. Um, nutrition. And where your current, current cal caloric intake is at is obviously gonna have an impact as well. Um, if you're prepping for a race, I would never recommend really putting anyone in or putting yourself in a calorie deficit. You're gonna need to be at maintenance or even in a surplus to give yourself one chance to actually perform well in those training sessions, sessions and two, give yourself a good chance to recover between the training sessions too. Um, something that, so, some techniques that we do with our clients is like if they are doing a double training day, they, they're obviously gonna to need to eat more calories on that day. And then if they've got a rest day, they might eat lower calories that day. And what we'll usually do is we'll do carb carbohydrate fluctuations. So on the higher training days, I'll have more carbs, pull the carbs down the rest days. But that really depends what, what the client's physique goal is as well. So for example, with me, I did do the most of my half marathon prep in a deficit, which I probably wouldn't recommend. Um, but yeah, so I, I, we did a lot of carbohydrate fluctuations for me, but for most people it would be eating at maintenance or in a surplus if you wanna get the most out of your performance. But again, this is when it comes back to where do you sit on the spectrum? Like doing endurance training can be a great tool to lose body fat quickly, but you know, if you are energy deprived and you're in a calorie deficit, then maybe you're, you're gonna be held back 
in terms of performance. Um, but I think it's just important to note the further you go towards the endurance end of the spectrum, the more you're going to need to look at your nutrition in terms of carbohydrate intake and being more meticulous with that. Uh, and the higher you want your carbs to be relative to fat intake. Um, so you've, you've got to take these things into account if you want to, to progress with hybrid training and do the, do the most, get the most out of it. Uh, it, it's very different than going, you know, just going to the gym three times a week and doing one run. It is hybrid training, but if you really want to perform well and get the most out of it and maintain your physique, then you need to be considering these things. See, a lot of people go wrong with hybrid training where they might have built a really good physique, trained four to five times a week in the gym, built a lot of muscle, and then they pick up endurance work and then their volume and intensity of the weight training just drops maybe two times a week. And they wonder why the physique doesn't look as good, why they're looking flat, maybe why they've lost muscle mass. Um, if, you're, if you're still heavily physique focused, you need to keep up the volume and most of the intensity of the weight training, otherwise your physique will change. So essentially, there's no one size fits all. You've got to decide what's important to you and that's going to dictate how you build your program. Um, but yeah, this is what we do with all our clients. If you've got any questions at all, in terms of how to put a training program together, feel free to drop me a message on Instagram, joe underscore is underscore fit. You can also look at our client transformations on athletic aesthetic, co athletic aesthetic coaching on Instagram. Um, and if you are heavily interested in considering applying for coaching, then just follow the link in my bio in YouTube and on Instagram as well. And I'd be happy to set up a, a consultation call. So yeah, I hope that was helpful.